Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a statistics problem. And suppose that we're given the following data set. We have three different scores here, 2.5, 6.4, and 3.2. And they occur with the frequency 4, 7, and 9 respectively. We're looking for the population standard deviation of this data set. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to solve this, we go to the FE handbook. And in the engineering and probability and statistics section, we have definition of mean, median, mode. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have the definition of standard deviation. And there's two, two definitions here, one called the population standard deviation and the other the sample standard deviation. We're going to use the population one. So that is this one right here. And so we're going to take that formula, we're going to write it on the next page. So here I've written the definition of standard deviation, where n is the total number of elements, x are the scores here, the 2.5, 6.4, and 3.2, and we need to calculate the mean in order to find the standard deviation. So the first thing that we do is calculate the weighted mean, or the weighted average. And so the mean is going to be 2.5 times 4 plus 6.4 times 7 plus 3.2 times 9. And then we have to divide this by the number of elements, which is n. And the number of elements is going to be 4 plus 7 plus 9. So this is going to be divided by 4 plus 7 plus 9. So the number of elements is 20. And when we do this, we get that the mean, or the, the weighted average, is 4.18. And that is our mu. Let me just rewrite this. Just center it a little bit. And to find the standard deviation, we take each of these scores, we subtract the mean from it, and then we square it. So we're just going to deal with this summation term. So the sum from i is equal to 1 to 20, so n is equal to 20, of xi minus mu squared is going to be our first xi, which is 2.5 subtract the mean from it, 4.18, and square it. And that score appears four times, so we multiply it by four. And then we do the same for the second term. It appears seven times. And then we get 6.4 minus the mean, 4.18, squared. And then the last term is going to be, it occurs nine times, has a score of 3.2, and then we subtract the mean from that score, 4.18 squared. And when we do that, we get 54.432. So 54.432. Okay. And so now, we can solve for our standard deviation here. So our standard deviation is 1 over n, which is 1 over 20. The sum, we've already calculated it, is 54.432. And then we take the square root of that. And when we do that, we get 1.65. And that is our answer. So that is the answer, 1.65, but as always, there's an easier way of doing this, and we can plug in these numbers into our Casio ClassWiz calculator, and it has a feature that will solve all this for us and give us even more information. So we're going to go over that tutorial now. So here I have the Casio calculator, and to solve this, we can go and hit the menu button. If we scroll down to 6, we have a statistics section, 
we can go ahead and hit the equal sign and then we want to hit the one variable so that's one and now we can just simply enter our data set and so our data set was let's go back we had 2.5 6.4 and 3.2 so 2.5 and that occurred four times so we enter that four times and then we had 6.4 occur seven times so 6.4 occurred seven times so we input it seven times 6.4 and last but not least we have 3.2 occurring nine times so that is up until we get to n is equal to 20. So you can plug in all those numbers and then once you've entered all the data we can hit the AC button which is right here hit it once and then we get this screen called statistics one variable now we can hit the options button here and then we can do two which is the one variable calculations and then it'll spit out all of the information that we need so if we look here we have that the weighted average is 4.18 we have that the standard deviation here is 1.65 so that's what we calculated and it gives us some other information here like the sum of x's and the sum of x squareds and the variance which is 2.7 so this is very this is a very neat feature of this calculator and we can scroll down and it'll just give us some more information like the median, the min value, the max values. So all very useful information when dealing with data sets. You know, it may be a little time consuming to work all these numbers out. And these are only three scores. Imagine if you had five, then you would have these five summations that you'd have to take the sum of. So any time that you can save on the exam definitely is a plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Please also hit the bell notification icon if you want to be alerted when new videos are going live. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.